Um, my first Christmas was at my grandparents' house in Kimberley, in South Africa. I never had Christmas before, and I got a like a ball. First memory of Christmas. Um, going to Lapland to see Santa. Um, it would have been in England. I stayed with the uh, family, my my father's sister, my auntie, and they're Jehovah's Witness. They don't celebrate Christmas, but they did especially for me. Oh, that was devastating. I was probably seven, and my uh, brother told me there's no Santa. Couldn't believe it. It was sad. One year, my parents forgot my presents back at home. We went to the coast for uh, Christmas, so when we came back, I quickly peeked in and saw post-Christmas presents pre-giving. So that's a bit of a complicated situation. Yeah, every Christmas day we had go upstairs with all my family we have breakfast all together and open all our presents together and then we have lunch together and then we generally don't have dinner because we're all full. Every Christmas Eve we get together and uh, so there's us, our close family friends and some other guys and um, my dad gets really drunk and so ever since I've been about 16 or 17 all of us have been getting really drunk with our dads and our tradition is our flaming sent booker shots on Christmas Eve. Yeah, so normally like it's eating all day with all my like extended family. Christmas is special just because yeah, you celebrate the birth of Christ, but in doing that we symbolize it by having family and friends around us, the close people. It's like a day off. Uh, it's well kind of a religious thing. I'm Catholic, so yeah, so my mom's side of the family celebrates Christmas. Usually in Brazil, you, we have a big dinner uh, from 24 to 25 at the midnight mm -hmm. to celebrate the Jesus. Christmas wish. Uh, Probably for the whole family to get together this year. Because a couple of years we had we've had a few missing, so it'd be nice to have everyone there. Oh, it's always good to get out and have some fun with your workmates that you've been stressed out with for the past 12 months. So yeah, it's pretty good. Being a single mum is hard, you know. You, I work as many days as I can, but you know you can't when you got teenage kids and. Yeah, it's hard. No, it's not really the best time of the year to bust, really. It's just, as I say, winter. It changed. It used to be Christmas. My family always get me something that I don't expect. It's always a surprise. And there's one in the post, apparently. I guess we're cultural Christians. We put the tree up in early December. Yeah. Decorate it, put presents under there, and then on the 25th, obviously. Santa comes. So I'm from Denmark, mm -hmm. so I celebrated with my family and it's on the 24th. Mm -hmm. So it's a big dinner and walking and dancing around the Christmas tree and opening presents. More enjoyment for all when there's children there because they still have this magical view on it, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, religious based Santa Claus or something similar, um, whether they be really believe it or not they still like to pretend. Yeah, we do. I always have a Christmas Eve service and Christmas Day service okay. and a big family get together. We're from the US, so we're used to snow and staying inside. So now it's really warm and we go out. Because I live my life to serve and help and put, put myself for others. Christmas time is a, it's a time to pray for myself to be more strong and, and more uh, close to Jesus. Um, both sides of my family um, are quite into uh, getting drunk on Christmas. Uh, in Italy, uh, sometimes, uh, the, um, for example, the grandparents, uh, my parents uh, and the uncles uh, they come to my house and uh, we eat together for, for the lunch uh, and after we go to the church uh, together. And uh, yeah, we uh, decorate the Christmas tree, we put 
present under and when it's Christmas Eve we offer a present to everybody.